Hi there, YouTube viewer. Thanks for uh, clicking on my link. I appreciate that. Um, now, I guess first thing to start with is why do I think my video is better than the other videos on how to get the backseat out of an F-150? Um, and I am appreciate uh, appreciate those guys making those videos because I just learned how to do this myself and I had to uh, watch their videos to get it. But I think my video is better because I kind of go into more explaining of how it goes together and a little more about um, what, what you're doing um, than they do. Um, personal opinion, you know, it seems like they just jam the screwdriver under there, wiggle it around, seat pops loose, yay, happy day. Well... I can tell you that uh, if you've never done it before and you don't know what you're doing, um, that's going to be really frustrating. And um, believe me, my neighbors can tell you they've uh, undoubtedly seen the seen the tools thrown and the uh, <coughs> curse words fly. Um, this is not supposed to necessarily be easy for safety reasons. Uh, Ford didn't design this to come out real easily. Um, so, but it's also not supposed to be hard, and um, I was literally having time to take 10-15 minutes to get it pop loose, and that's not how it's supposed to work. It should take only a minute or two. So, obviously, I knew I was doing something wrong. Um, so, I stopped and kind of stepped back and said, okay, here's, and, and these are my key words, understanding how to get it apart, you got to understand how it goes together. Um, so... With that, uh, let's go ahead and get started on how it goes together. And uh, once you understand how it's together, then that really helps you understand what you got to do to get it apart. So let's start by popping down here on this guy. Um, you'll see in here talks of the clip. Well, that is the clip right there that you have to deal with. Um, and it pushes back. And um, this down here is the um, like child seat. Um, mounting point um and then this part here um this vertical part here as you can see it lines up in the middle of that that's important later so let's keep in mind uh, this uh vertical part i'll call it the vertical tab just because i don't have a better word for it um then you got this little hoop right here this little kind of hollow spot there's a a uh, piece of pipe, a bar that runs across the bottom of the back seat, which I'll get to in just a second, you'll see, and it rides in that. And then there's a metal tab that comes up and clips underneath this, and that's what keeps the seat from coming up. Um, so it's um, it's easy to do. It's, um, it's, uh, that, that's what keeps the seat kind of in place and, and locked in. So uh, let's take a sec here and flip around and take a look at that's that tab I was talking about. So that um, that clip pops over the top of this. Um, and then this is the, the pipe I was talking about that rides down in that little kind of saddle. So that hole right there, that is your key to the kingdom. Um, otherwise, it's uh, it's not really that easy to get, um, and you got to get it just right. If you're trying to come around with a screwdriver on the sides and hit that clip, it's uh, it's not always necessarily so easy to do. Um, you've got all this foam in here, which is kind of makes it tough. But they've cut a groove up through here. Um, well, not right now you don't see nothing on my arm, but if you see there, then you can see my finger. Um, so that hole right there is really that's the one that you're looking for. Um, now, as far as how the top mounts, um, you've got these hooks, and those hooks just slide downward into um, these little uh, kind of pockets here. Um, so that's easy. Um, once you've popped the, popped the bottom loose and you lift upwards on the back seat, it'll pop right out. So... Um, I think that's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the seat back to somewhere you can kind of see what to do with the screwdriver. Um, that's That was the part that it was causing me to both think is, yes, I know I'm supposed to jam a screwdriver in there, but what am I supposed to do with it? And uh, I think that's the part they were missing. So let me get rearranged, and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I've got the seat back just sitting here on the tailgate. Um, get a better understanding of what we do. Um these little um, little safety seat things, that's marks where those uh, loops are. But that's handy is, you know, kind of where you're supposed to go. Um, so you're going to come in with a screwdriver down underneath. And in short, you're going to, this is a two-hand operation. I'll show you when we actually do it. And what you're going to do is you're going to just get it to pop up into that. 
Now right now, you can hear I'm hitting that pipe. <clears throat> so ultimately what your goal is on the back side here is to come up through that slot that's kind of somewhat provided, but there's also some of that slot that's being taken up by that vertical tab. You're going to come up and you're just going to pop there. That's going to push your little tab in um, so that it'll unclip. So that's what you're doing. Um, now because of how everything's in there, your screwdriver is actually going to be down here and you're going to use your other hand. Um, you're going to have to kind of push it up, locate the bar, back it out a little bit, kind of ride that bar, come back up, get on top of the bar. Then you'll know, okay, I'm on top of the bar. The hold is going to be right straight up. So you'll just kind of tip down, lift down, and eventually it'll pop in there. So that's what you're trying to do. Um, so uh, with that, I'm going to go on pause again. I'm going to lock the seat in, and I'm going to show you the process. All right, and we are back. So what tools do we need? A long screwdriver. It can be Phillips or flathead, doesn't matter. I'm using the flathead because it's about an inch longer than the longest Phillips I have. Uh, this is optional. It's a clip. Um, you don't have to use it or you could use something else. This guy here is pretty strong. Um, because I have, have the camera fixed, I'm not going to be able to show you, but uh, over on the driver's side you've got the seat belt that's coming out. So it'll help if you pull out several feet of that and uh, clip your uh, put your clip on the seat belt up there at the at the entrance into the retractor that way you've got some, you can keep some slack on your seat belt okay uh, under the part of why you're watching the video so what we have here is here's the little button i was telling you to keep an eye out for you rock your screwdriver under here um, you can kind of lift up and push and you'll see the little child safety seat thing that's right under the button So use that kind of as your guide and come in under that button Push your screwdriver in and then kind of work it Inboard to the right until you hit that vertical tab. I was talking about now And do this in this order put the screwdriver in first find that tab then work your big meaty hand under there so you can kind of see and feel what's going on. Um, so put the screwdriver in first before you put your hand in. Um, that way you don't poke yourself. So right now, you can't see it. I'm just going to have to tell you and you're going to have to trust me. Is right now the screwdriver is riding on the bottom of that bar. Um, and then on the right side, I'm all the way up against that vertical tab. And I've got my finger back here, and I can kind of feel where everything is. I can feel the tip of the screwdriver. Right now, you, and you, it's not, you probably can't see it right now. What I'm doing is I'm pulling the screwdriver back, and I'm pushing it up with my left hand so that it's on that bar and it's riding that bar. Okay? It just popped on top. So right now, I'm just under that hole. So now I'm going to raise up a little bit and push in on the screwdriver, and you'll feel it. When you hit that hole, you'll feel it go in. Um, you probably can't see it on the video, but I'm in that hole right now, so just give it a push. You might have to take the seat and push down on it to release the pressure. And then, <clears throat> kind of jiggle, you're in the right place. But I'm not getting any love at the moment. And uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not pro at this really. Well, maybe I'm not in that hole. It could be. It could be completely wrong. It's happened. But I think I am. Yeah, I'm in that hole. It's just not popping loose yet. So, I'm going to wiggle, jiggle, shove, push. And it should pop loose. But it's not popping. <clears throat> See what I mean? And with all that foam and crap in there, you can't see. So... Alright, let's try it again. Back out, under the bar. Pull backwards. Push up. Above the bar. 
but I can see down through here, I can see that my screwdriver is above that vertical tab. Just slip back down, get it back up, pop it in the hole, push. There it goes. So now you can see we popped it. Um, so, you know, and I'm, I'm showing you, man, warts and all of uh, how it goes. And, and it, it's not, even though I haven't done this a whole bunch of times, it's not as simple as just stick a screwdriver in there, wiggle it around, it pops loose. So that's it. So you need to do the, uh, the same thing on the opposite side. Um, and that's it, I think. Um, so I hope this helped because if you're watching the video, it's because you didn't know what to do. Uh, you'd never done it before, you didn't know what to do. I didn't either um, when I first started. So anyway, I hope it helps. If it helps, hit the like button. Uh, if it doesn't help, uh, leave me a comment and give me, uh, you know, give me your feedback on what do you think I'm doing wrong to make it better. Because um, this is here to help. Um, don't be a jerk. Just say, you know, hey, I think this would work better. Um, and we'll see because it's, it's out there to be helpful to uh, the people who need to learn how to do this. And uh, that's it. Thanks. Bye.